Welcome to another episode of the Naughty Grape Vine, a series dedicated to expanding your appreciation of wines and spirits. Today's episode is all about how to shop for wine, Mario, something that I'm sure you are quite familiar with. Definitely. So, what are some of the things that we should keep in mind when looking for a wine? Because we know that experience can be totally daunting for some people. It can be, but we try to bring it down simple into three questions. Mm -hmm. If it's a dry or a sweet wine, yes. or your, the occasion, and your price point. Perfect. So in terms of whether it's a dry or a sweet wine, if you're completely new to the world of wine, Moscato's is normally, or sweet wines is the direction in which we would point someone to. Um, check out our episode on Moscato's where we explore the full range from across many different regions. Now, if you've already tried Moscato's and you want to graduate to that next level, in terms of red wines, we would normally recommend something as a Pinot Noir, which is usually a lighter, medium-bodied wine. Today, we're tasting the Mezza Corona Pinot Noir while we chat with you. Or you can also check out the Pinot Noir from Cellar Number 8, also out of California. Um, there are a few others that we carry in the portfolio also. Um, other than that, in terms of white wines, we would recommend a Pinot Grigio, which is a light and a crisp wine, also very versatile in terms of, you know, it being able to pair with a number of dishes. In terms of price points, um, what would you consider as the ideal price point for us to explore? I would say from anywhere up uh, just over $100. Right. So for me, affordability, I think of anything about 125 and under. Yes. And at the Naughty Grape, we do have a number of brands that fall into that category that provide people with a number of options. Yes. Uh, from Terra from Chile, Tribute from Argentina, and the Australian lines from Hardy's, the varietal and stamp, all play into that particular price point. Now, of course, if price is no object, then uh, certainly, you know, there's a whole range of other things that you can explore. Um, in a previous episode where we spoke about Malbecs, we looked at Terrazas de los Andes, um, which was in the mid 200 range. That's, you know, somewhere where else where you can check out. Um, other than that, you mentioned occasion, occasion, which I think is very important and often people don't take that into consideration. But let's give a few examples here. Um, if it is that you were having an impromptu get-together, yes. um, you may want to go for that affordable range of 125 and under. So if you envision a whole night of lining where, you know, there's a couple of hours there where there'll be, you know, a gathering happening, we suggest the Franzia box wines. They come in a 1.5 liter packaging, which means it's the equivalent of two bottles in one box. Um, great affordability there. Yes. Um, other than that, um, if it is, it's a gift for a host where you're not sure what the menu is, we would suggest a Chianti, which is, you know, quite versatile. Pinot Noirs are also quite versatile in that it can pair with both meat and fish dishes. Um, or we would recommend something like a Prosecco, which is all the rage these days. Yes. And I see we have a couple of Proseccos here. Um, the Deluca Prosecco, Torricella, Santa Margarita Prosecco. These are all perfect gifts that you can carry for a host. Yes. Um, of course, if the occasion is something to be celebrated, an anniversary, uh, you know, a milestone birthday, then you may want to skip and jump ahead to the champagne category. Um, our two more popular offerings that we have is the Moet and the Verpico. And both of them we carry demi sec and brut options, or in the case of Moet, Imperial and Nectar Imperial. Um, Verpico is a little more expensive, so you may want to think of Moet as that young sister that likes to party at night while Verpico is more like that sophisticated sister that prefers bars and lounges. Either way, it's a gift of class because they both hail from the LVMH or Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy portfolio. So, how, when we're in store, let's kind of give people an idea of how they can maneuver their way. All our stores are pretty much set up the same where they, um, we separate our wines by country alphabetically. So starting off with Argentina and going all the way to South Africa, you would find all our red wines in one section and all our white wines in one section. Within a country, we 
place our uh, more expensive brands to the top of the shelf and our least expensive brands to the bottom. But within that, we've taken it a step further and we've actually come up with a bit of a system where we um, organize the wines from dry to sweet. And if you can just check out this handy little necker that we have here, the numbering system that we've come up with, which is from five to one, five being very dry to one being very sweet, you can look for those numbers on our wine. So if you figured out that you're a three, a semi-dry, um, wine drinker, we would suggest to you look for anything with a three on it and that you that kind of gives you an idea of everything that we have in store at a glance. These handy little neckers also give you a bit of a taste into it. So for instance, on this particular one that speaks to Pinot Noir, it tells you it has red fruit notes and it's light body and has high acidity. Also, it features a small um, pairing, food pairing on it and in this case it says it pairs perfectly well with salmon and of course there are some other little items that it goes well with such as sausage, steak, chicken or game. So this is actually something that not a lot of people know about but makes maneuvering our stock quite easy. So Mario, now that we've, took, or we've introduced people to some of those easy questions that they can ask themselves, is there anything that you would like to add to the Oh, was out there? No, but this stuff, you, you just actually broken down everything that makes it easy for the, for the consumer. Um, but also you can, you can also enjoy our loyalty program at the stores, which we also carry and it's free of charge. So you just ask for it at the counter, you get signed up in seconds and you enjoy. So it gets you coming back to enjoying our full range. You know, I completely forgot about that and I'm so glad that you brought it up. Thank you for joining us for this episode of the Naughty Grapevine and just remember you heard it here first on this episode.